All right, guys, we're going to talk about toes to bar. So if you've ever found yourself doing this, I'm sure some of you know where we're coming from. So that is not good. Not only does it not look good, but it's not very efficient. So what we're gonna do here is talk about whether you're doing them scaled, full toes to bar, whatever it is, we're gonna teach you how to avoid doing that and uh, get it done correctly. So the biggest problem, the way that that starts is that people end up pausing either the top or the bottom of the movement, all right? So Stacey's gonna show us, this is gonna be a full toes to bar, but she's gonna show us this pause at the top and you'll see what happens. So she gets a good swing, then she gets her feet up there, kind of holds them for a sec, and then all of a sudden comes down and there that swing starts. And then same thing can happen if we sort of pause at the bottom, where you come up, you're happy and proud of yourself, you get a toes to bar, then you come down, you kind of rear up for the next one, and then there goes our momentum. We're just trying to create a balance from the top and the bottom with that momentum. So whether you're doing knees to elbows, toes to bar, knees to waist, what you want to do is just fluid movement, up and down. So Stacey's going to show us a couple just toes to bar. And just notice again, she brings her toes up and comes right back down and right from the bottom goes right back up. Whether she's doing that, knees to elbows, same idea. She's just right up and right back down, okay? So you just want to eliminate any pause and just keep that momentum and the kind of balance with the top half and the bottom half of the body and that will keep that wild uh, Tarzan swing from happening. And that's our toes to bar kit.